It's going to be a few minutes though. Alright. Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to more Yugi Jax Tag Force. This episode, well, we can do all Cyrus. The day hasn't even changed, but we can do all Cyrus. We're pretty sure just sort of more of the same. But Cyrus plays a voice, well, a vehicle voice act, which <laughs> interesting cars. You just never get any bloody help. I can imagine that you get voice, vehicle voice just do nothing. To even made a new version of which is called Speed Voice. Well, not a new version, just a police. Well, that's what we can do. Gonna summon Gigabyte and play Monster. Game. There we go. Hey, big boys have all sorts of different utility. So what you got? But they can destroy monsters, they can avoid destruction, they can increase their attack, all that stuff. Not right here, we'll look at face down cards. Which is not bad. Sometimes you'll need to look at a face down card, but you could. Another one. Two cars. Let's see. Cold wave. Stop it, Mermaid. Did lose a bunch of really good cars and went off to bat. Not got Kind of wish I got to keep some of them. Oh, no, no. Why is the main pathway now? That's weird. Right. Still face down. Okay. Like Just someone heard me there and keep attacking. Cards that we could have drawn. Just gonna attack. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, it does matter because it's gonna have one of the light points left. Aww. I think we need to add more legendary oceans to the deck. I don't really have three. I think I know some other cars I need to add though. We used to get into the house. I told you that, okay. Okay. Hello? And we'll try to get the guy can go. Boom. There you go. Well sorted. I guess Cyrus registered. Uh, did we get to Oh no, we didn't. Ah. Hmm. Oh, we're going to hit the bounce of time. We're going to end the day. Oh, email. Hello. Is a congratulations from Chancellor Shepherd. Saying, well, he is saying, congratulations, congratulations, you've been selected as a recommended duelist. If you go to the front of the class with this email, we'll gain some DP. Which is handy. I should have checked the record of Cyrus, that's okay. Oh, 
gonna go to my yellow first. Recruit the cat. Nurse pet is back. Free cat. Play up. And we'll go to the store. Get some sandwiches. You can't as usual. Prep sandwich up. Can always do that. Golden and blue. Fantastic. Kim shoes I was aiming for. This is already a good day for sandwiches. Egg. Egg's okay. Spicy fish egg sausages, that's okay. Or spicy fish. Whichever it is. You can get that jet on, shall we? And a cooked sandwich. Amazing! Hey! Alright. Let's do some talking. I'm gonna talk to. Well, just the main characters. Except for Charles, we can't talk to him yet. First, I'm gonna buy some jet. He was apparently sleeping in tiny silos to make the best act he could possibly make. But apparently the cat is enough to wake him up. Have the kimchi sandwich. He likes that. Which is good. Talk to Cyrus, not to Jane. Talk about the academy, why not? You can have a cooked sandwich. Make sure you're okay with it. And chumbler. He tried to jump scare us, but he failed miserably. Here, have this. Uh, I guess while we're here, we can check the status of Cyrus. That's of Cyrus. That's such a that, that's such an ominous sounding line. We can check what his heart rate is, but his heart rating is nearly three hearts. Jay has gone a lot. Good God. Got one thing now. Sandwich. I don't know, but we can probably just pass a cup sandwich. Talk about hobbies. I go. Yeah, have a cup sandwich. We'll give gold one to someone else. And for someone else, I mean Zane, because it's pretty much the best option we can give to Zane. <laughs> Could have given him a cook sandwich as well, but eh. Hobbies. My turn one. Could I miss one? No. Don't want to pass you got that good joke. Let's give you normal help. Yeah, she's okay, but eggs can be sweet. Though. But we're gonna go to Golden Egg, which is egg, because <laughs> it's a bit. It's a short student to slide from. 
which might give it this to us to the fire. Come away. Look, she'll follow me as far. Just remember to give it to her. Okay. Let's go. Well, to the store again. A quick sandwich. Always could get those. Going for jam, but spicy curry skin as well. There we go, got jam as well, so that's fine. <laughs> grapes are good too, why not? Can't imagine a grape sandwich being good though. <laughs> Much like a carrot sandwich if it's just too soggy. And it'd probably be weird if you got grape skin. I'm sure the grapes are cut, but I just don't feel like the grape sandwich would be weird. The grapes would probably fly out everywhere. Ah, oh, I was one away. Let's go for play nap time. Alright, we'll go to class and. <clears throat> Do I need to? No. It's just a good way to pass the time. Because you could leave and you could leave and just say go to class. Even though we're here. That's pretty funny. You need to have cards. I do need to check out that water fusion master. See if we want to include it in the deck somehow. Duels. Fantastic. Have a jam sandwich. We could do all access now, but we'll probably do it on Sunday. Next is Zay. Oh, you can get a cook sandwich if we have one. Pizza, like just in between slices of bread, but I just can't see it. I'm talking like. Did I say in this episode or was the last episode? I can't remember uh, what it was. Like, I'm talking as someone who, back in high school, had uh, like been to ask how to make pizza as get a piece of soda bread and put tomato ketchup on it. True story. High school was in a weird, high school stories in a weird place. Not gonna lie. By the end of high school, we learned we learned absolutely nothing except we can only play Monopoly and sometimes chess. And why is that? Every other game was banned. That also included you, Gio. Because one father decided he wanted to bat a card against my sister. And guess who won? My sister. Hell, even chess was something weird. Like, we, could, we had to ask if we could play chess. And the teacher would say, only if you both consent to play fair and not for a hissy fit. Which is weird because we had Monopoly 
That was like the only game we could play, and everyone wanted to make sure the melody lasted as long as possible. Help the yes, is what bad. I'm not lying. The Nintendo DS was banned in my high school. This time it was my fault. Well, not my fault. The same guy had a bad card against my sister. He wanted to try and show off how good he was in Pokemon. So what did he do? He challenged me to Black and White 2. He never taught me about the Wonder Launcher. He used an action replay. And he still lost. I'm not lying. I even remember the exact team he used. I remember when he was about to lose, he started to fight his Pokemon. I was like, wait, what happened? The guy with Wonder Launcher, I, like, I didn't realize that there was even a Wonder Launcher in Black and White too, because, well, nothing in the game really told me. Well, the character in the game was said, but it's my first ever multiplayer battle. So that was always fun. But he used, um, he used Zekwam, Weshwam, QM, QM Black, QM White, and Victini on the team. You wanna know how he lost QM? He lost QM to the Pikachu from Pokemon Battle Revolution as you get for 100% in the game. You think I'm bullshit, but no. <laughs> it's actually true. And that's why DS has got banned. Because I won the battle, I, I, well, he said, why did I lose? I said, well, it doesn't matter whether you lost or not, because guess what? I, I beat you in his last replay. The teacher wondered what happens, so I explained he was using a cheat device. So the teacher first was like, okay, don't use a cheat device. But the same guy decided, oh, she doesn't know what a cheat device is, I'll just keep bringing it in. So we thought he could bullshit the system by bringing an action replay. But then once he realised that he couldn't battle me, he said, Oh, you're no, worse than saying no, because you say no of an action replay. So that was great. Like, it got to the point where... Do you like chicken sandwiches? Probably. But, um... It got to the point where... Um, there were days of school where people would bring in something, you know. They'd be like, oh, I'm going to bring in something that's just... It's like, something for, it's for the whole class to just enjoy. It could be anything. Got to the point where people had arguments on whether one girl should bring in a Nintendo Wii, or someone should bring in an Xbox. The guy that wanted to bring in the Xbox was the same guy who defeated as well. <laughs> that had the action replay. But it was at the point where eventually we had to have a whole meeting about with the teacher about oh we should bring in this or what games were banned. So even when someone got to bring in the way, we only got to play Mario Kart. It was Mario Kart Wii, so it was pretty fun. And we only bought an Xbox once because the person who bought an Xbox, the guy that used to actually be like, only wanted to play Halo. He bought it to make himself look good at Halo. Because all he wanted to do was just 1v1 people. Which, sure, if you want to be good at the game, sure. But he was doing, he bought not doing. He wanted to go up against me in Halo. Bear in mind, I never played Halo. So the second I got a headshot on him, he just started throwing his bit. So the Xbox fans as well. It's just great. And I think I got to the point where for those days. I think I was the only one that ever played in Yu-Gi-Oh cards in those days. It was always like, you can bring in one thing to play. Oh shit, okay. I've got a safe statement. <laughs> but no one wanted to do it on me. But back in high school, we used to have a person who... One, he but did win, but he came second in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. It's a fact. 
Big Hall fella bought it the sub version of Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds on DVD. You can only guess how that went. When the teacher walked over and saw the first episode and was like, wait, he said you bastard. Is he? The guy did it. But I remember we had a... Would it be counters? I don't think it's counters round off, but we all had points to be capped or lost based on how duels went. So we ended up having a sort of mini tournament where the person with the most points would be considered the best of the class. I don't remember what place it came. I think it was in the top three though. I think it was me. Then the guy that came to in the tournament. And the guy that bought in the you go buy these. Subversion. And then I think it was a ballot called Chris. I can't remember the second name. Pick a start of a tea. I don't remember that. Oh, I'm so confused to think about the thing. I think he won. In fact, I came second in the tournament and he won by like just a couple points. Or we had a tiebreaker and I think he beat me. It's been so long since that tournament, so I can't even remember. But I'm being pretty proud. I think we all defeated the person that came second in the tournament in France. At least once, except for, well, the guy who'd been messing multiple times. Again, it was a bit of an asshole. Well, a bit of an asshole's an understatement. Talk about duels, but yeah, high school was just that. A bunch of games being banned. And us being bored for the whole six years. The most entertaining class we had was religious education. And that was actually perfect. That was because the religious education teacher wasn't there. He was a teacher that every time someone in the school did something stupid, he was the one that ran over and get the absolute shout out by shouting at them. Like, I think it was religious education. He had five his head, but I remember nothing about it. They made us take the winning test, from what I remember. But none of us did. Cooking was... Eh. The best thing about the cooking class was that we ended up going to... Thing. They ended up making stir fry one day. That was like the best day for cooking. Music class was okay as well, but... I think it was just a piano. But enough of that. On Sundays, so you just woke up, Sundays set aside for tag duels. Care to join me? Whoever likes you the most will ask you to just go into tag duels on Sunday, which is you and one person teaming up against two other people alternating turns. You can talk to Kuala, but there's no reason to. He'll explain, like, oh, if you want to leave, just go to fame. Just talk to me and go to special day. Right? But let's have a tag duel. You go. It's still a part of my life. But there's only like one person I play against. And this, again, well, now I guess. But we rarely play against. We rarely play against each other. Because we go to the group, and he's he's the leader of the group. He has to make sure we don't kill like me and everyone else kill him. He has to make sure me and everyone else doesn't murder each other. <laughs> Dan and the fighting coach game really into D and D. I mean, really into D and D. I can even have a bag of dice saying it right in front of me. But for card games, I play a good couple. The one that I probably play with people the most now is the Pokemon card game. 
as my sister's running a few part Sundays for people on the spectrum. So I go there as well because I am on the spectrum. But um, we had a new tournament a while ago. Which is pretty fun. That's a terrible card. You shouldn't be playing that. Your brother had the advantage, but... Yeah, Sunday group is fun. We did D&D last time. Oh, uh, the last Sunday of this month. We'll be doing it. We'll be having a Pokemon. Well, we'll just be playing Pokemon cards. It should be fun. Got my friend, the guy looked into it. He looked the game master. Yeah, we got. I got him into the game. Um, from Phasmophobia, there was his Royal Hawkass. He goes to the Sunday group and he's interested enough in the Pokemon card game. Oh, super. Well, into it enough. More so the collecting aspect than, the, than playing the game. Yeah, his Royal Hawkass is pretty good at Yu Gi Oh as well. Oh, not Yu Gi Oh! Where do you get the Pokemon? Bit of an idea, so I'm gonna play Creature Swap. Give it to me your monster because this Michael guy he plays well cars and destroy monsters on the field. I don't have an idea. Yeah, I probably should be good about that. That's okay. I'm just gonna pile in some damage. But yeah, we'll get back to talking about the game. But, uh, Zane is a pretty good partner to team up with. If I had to rank the characters, they would probably be at the top. Because he plays cards that are out of the way. Jin is okay, but the cards he draws in his hand will trap him. We go to. Yeah, we're gonna play Magic Sun. We can end the game right now. Well, Zane can. But this Zane up near top, it's all like if you had to rank, rank the actual students, Zane can get really bad cards and up not playing anything. Charlie plays way too defensively, Cyrus. Um, you kinda just want Cyrus to always play Steve. That's literally all you want. Zane, you could have won. You could have just flipped over his Necromancer card. Actually, no, it wouldn't turn into fact. You could attribute that for Cyber Dragon. Actually, pretty much a better. We could have won! Uh, oh, I got that. Gaming character is different. Different styles, so that character is sort of worse. I'm gonna flip. See what happens. Get out of here. And that's good. But the main benefit to tag duels on a Sunday is actually something that's about to happen. Now if you speak to Chaz Princeton normally he will be like, nah, you're a sniper slacker. I'm not gonna team up, I'm not gonna talk to you. But he'll actually duel you on Sundays. So if you want to do him, that's your chance. It won't raise affection, but you can do it. Also, if you pair up with, well, for Zane, for example, if Zane's not your tag partner on Sundays, he'll be standing around here with Alexis. But Alexis ain't here. Um, Jaden will always be beside Chumley and Cyrus. If you talk to, well, if you duel Cyrus, He'll team up with Jaden, I think? Well, we'll actually see how the teams go, but let's do old Chaz and Bastion for now. So, we could be a little bit of an issue. Chaz wants a deck full of Union monsters, and monsters that are put to each other and can banish themselves to 
Okay, fusion monsters out. Sort of like what a Dark Blade and Pitch Dark Dragon do, but they don't fuse on the field. Like, they don't need, like the ones charged just don't need polymerization. But let's see what we can do. <clears throat> but if you want to dual charge with a specific deck, you can also touch it. Ooh. Oh. I didn't draw a bad hand. I didn't draw an amazing one either. But that's fun, my face. Oh god, Chaz goes to so long. It's a plane. Kind of pulse, that's okay. <coughs> and a bit of spar. So we could have just our face down, but we didn't. Why dragon head? Why? We haven't actually shown off x ray the dragon cannon to bring this last play. For I don't know. And yeah, Zane's protecting his face down monster kills. This good for fusion summons. Not gonna lie. Oh, my hand. It's actually pretty bad. Well, let's start with this. A legendary ocean. Summon the Gaggy Kill. I'm gonna keep Zane's monster safe on the field. Because Zane might need it. He might be able to do something cool next time. So, Bastion, what you doing? Oh, he's going for the face down. No! Did the face down alone. Just kidding. No! And Hart the Underdog. That's all the thing about. Oh, yeah, Chad's always paired for Bastion. Tear for Bastion and Chaz will move here. Actually, she might be better for Zane. In which case, you've got the ultimate machine deck right there. Oh, thank god. Yes. You don't know what? Now, sum summon Cyber Dragon. Aw, oh, come on. I literally just told you to sacrifice my monster to play Cyber Dragon. No! Don't do it. Oh, I'm a fool. Why? Zane could have just summoned an amazing monster. But now he's not even going to be able to. Bam. Chaz is just going to summon an attack the like Hexseal Fusion. Oh, sorry. Ah. Oh. Alright, Legendary Ocean. I'm in Gigabyte. We're about to meme on these fools. Punch in the face. And here the light hex sealed fusion. Excellent. Wait a second. Wait a second! Ah, go for the kill, Gigabyte. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I love it. There's no mistake, you just lost two gigabyte. As he just walks away, I'm nowhere to be seen. I just pieced out and faded away. Oh, that's brilliant. Love it. But it will do all the size change. I mean, it actually cannot be waived on this day, though, unfortunately. But that's okay. But if you team with Jade, size and Chummy would not be here. So it would just be Alexis Zane, Bash, and Chaz. It would be. And here, which is weird. Because right here, so it's teamed up with Chumley. Maybe there's somewhere like off in the distance though. I suppose because I wouldn't know how I would Jaden. 
<laughs> but I think we team up with. I think if Jay is now your partner, he's up here with one of the two. So if you pet up with Cyrus, you would end up doing Jay to Chummy. Which also is not too bad. Because Chummy has arguably the strongest fusion model style of the main characters in this series. Alright, Zane. See if you can defeat your little brother. Funny thing is, the Cyrus could technically be Zane. In this game. I'm just a boy. And a boy. What you get? Jai boy, that's actually pretty good. If Chomley draws lucky, then we're in trouble. Dust on there, that's okay. Turn, do not have the cards I think you have. Seven, okay. If Chummy had the cards I was thinking of, he would have just pushed us in the face. I am going to summon the game back. Set. And activate Monster Game. Monster Game. I'm talking like an actual Yu Gi Oh character. Oh my god. To attack the face down with a minute possess. Oh wait, hold on. Screw that noise. Anyway, I'll just destroy you. I could have played Fenrir. I didn't realize we're getting broken straight out. I probably should have kept it though. Just in case. Actually, no. I made up for it. So, just hit. See what can happen though. Cyrus gets to the final turn to tag team. As team one, he's gonna attack Cyber Dragon. Or Nana Breaker, one or two. Okay, he's just going for the damage. Yeah, if you talk to, if you do all Cyrus, he'll team up with Chummy. If you talk to Jaden, he'll team up. Well, if you do all Jaden, he'll team up with Cyrus? And Chomley will tear up with Jaden. At least I think that's how it goes. Call it a hunting. Yep. Yeah. Well, see, then I would just end. Well, I would have just ended the battle and taken that monstrous match. But that's okay. We can come back and that is very specific. It requires Chummy to draw a polymerization or one of fusion cards. Demons. Even if he does, they can stop it. Wait, right, see if I can end this. Well, there's a chance to. Let's see, you can be equipped. But it's not fine. Instead, I'm going to tribute you. And you, just somebody the ace of that. Go get him, you guy can go. Have heavy air attack. Okay. And let's finish us. Thanks, Demoid. I say that as if I was expected, but I was joking. That's still game. Although, to be honest, it was the only good option. The last amount of what to just wasted time. Beautiful. I never spoke to the guy that was mentioned in class. Well, it's fine. Get plenty of dual points anyways. But yeah, we don't need to see the whole tag teamwork, to be fair. Jim could be deadly better than anyone. That's what I'm doing, but how's the episode been going on for? Oh, 
What do you mean, us? Well, end the episode by leaving. Go out to special site. See if we got any mail. We did get mail. That's enough congratulations. Brilliant. But I will end the episode here, so I'll see you guys. Well, anytime something important happens, I'll start the episode. So I'll see you guys next time.